Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to our channel, Deep Houseboat Life. I trust that everyone's doing well and having a fantastic start to their summer. On this week's episode, we're gonna go through eight must-have items that we found make our time up here a bit more enjoyable with our daughter, Claire. Having a houseboat with a newborn who's growing up incredibly fast is a very intimidating. And so these are the items that we found that we wanna always have up here so that we know that we don't have to pack as much stuff in the car and our time up here can be spent together as a family and not going back and forth to the dock to carry everything that we need. When we first bought our boat, Claire was only 10 weeks old and we had been saving up for a boat for a long time, but we weren't sure that we could do boating and have a baby at the same time. But we bought the houseboat anyways. And my first reaction after buying the boat was, oh my gosh, we just made a mistake. We have a baby, now we have a boat. I don't know how to be a mom. He doesn't know how to be a dad. Still working on it. <laughs> and now we have this boat and this baby. I don't know what we're gonna do. Can we do this? I think a lot of potential boat buyers and parents in general have these very valid fears. So that's why we want to share these eight items with you so you can see that you can do it too. And these eight items have made our lives so much easier with a baby on a houseboat. Before we get into our eight items list, we want to give you two tips that are overarching themes that have made our transition a lot easier. The first is don't overbuy duplicate items, especially when it comes to equipment and toys and clothes. Your baby's going to be growing fast, so there's really no need to take everything from your house and literally duplicate it because in a few months they're going to be growing out of that equipment. But there are certain items like diapers and baby wipes, sunscreen, bathing suits that you probably are going to want to buy duplicates of and that you're going to use more often. And so it's just easier to have a set at the boat and then also a set at the house. But when it comes to equipment, what you should do is save yourself some money, find a handful of items that your baby can use through multiple phases of its life as it gets older, and that you can use for multiple purposes on the boat. So that way when you are buying something that's new and specific for your boat or it's a duplicate item, you know you're really gonna get some longevity out of it. So those are the two things that you should really keep in mind when you're trying to figure out what, is, what are the things that you should have for your baby on the boat. The first item on the list is Claire's Graco Pack and Play. We had this at our house in Atlanta and she slept in this with the little bassinet that went onto the top until she was about four months old. At about four months, we transitioned her into the crib that she has now. And what we did is we brought this pack and play to the boat and we keep this in her little nursery downstairs and we leave it at the boat and it doesn't come back home with us. It takes up a lot of space. It's not too difficult to carry, but knowing that we can put Claire in the car seat, jump in the car and come up to the boat and she has a crib that she can be comfortable and safe in when she takes her naps and goes down to bed in the evening has been an incredible help for us. The second item on our list is a portable high chair. We have the Inglesina Fast Table Chair and we found this one on Amazon for only $70. It's great because we can attach it and unattach it to pretty much any surface where there's a table. So in our downstairs kitchen, or on our top deck, on our bars, or we can take it to a restaurant with us. What's really great is Claire actually loves this high chair more than the one that she loves at home. So note to self as a parent is that sometimes the more expensive item that you have isn't gonna also be your child's favorite. So we really love having this portable high chair and it's really been so useful for us at the boat. The third item on the list is Claire's baby swing. This is called a Baby Sea Rock, and it's made by a couple out of North Carolina. We keep it up here on the top deck so that if one of us is downstairs and the other one has to do something on the top deck, like fold some towels, put away Claire's swimming pool, maybe I'm grilling out, we can put Claire in that swing. She can watch the boats go by, look at the birds, airplanes, anything else that can capture her attention right now. If we know that she's safe and secure and not walking, wandering around the top deck unsupervised. The fourth item on our list is a baby bathtub. One great perk about our houseboat is that in the master bathroom, we have a shower and tub combo where we can bathe Claire as she gets older. But in the meantime, we've been bathing her in a baby bathtub. 
And this one we found online for only $20. And it's the same one that we actually use at home, so we bought one here at the boat. And bath time has become one of our daily routines and we wanted to make sure that we could continue this when we're at the boat. So this was a definitely a no-brainer for us to make sure that we could continue our daily routine. And Claire loves this tub. She splashes around with it and she can use it until she's well into her toddler years if we'd like to. The fifth item on the list is our Hatch sound machine and nightlight. If you can't tell from the videos that we've posted and just looking around right behind us, we live in very tight quarters. Our neighbors have been incredibly respectful to make sure that they're not talking too loud or having a party on the dock that would disrupt Claire's nap time or evening time. But just in case someone comes by or Dory barks, we want to make sure that we have a sound machine that can keep her lulled to sleep. This hatch sound machine has been fantastic and we really like the nightlight feature because if Claire needs a diaper change or she loses her passy, there's just enough light in there that we can do what we need to do without having to turn on all of the room lights and really wake anybody up. The sixth must have on our list is the Vava monitor. So Claire's room is located right off the kitchen in her cuddy and it's very close to where we are typically socializing. So whenever she's taking a nap, we're usually either on the front porch, the top deck, or on the dock. So it's pretty key to make sure that we can monitor her with our monitor. And we found one that we really trust. The sound quality is great. The visual quality is great. And it also allows us to travel pretty far down the dock so we can go to our neighbors and hang out too while she's sleeping. And we actually like this monitor so much. We have one for our home down in Atlanta too. The Vava monitor is a little bit more expensive than some of the other monitors that we have found, but here's a little tip. It's worth investing in a monitor that you can trust, that you can actually see your baby on because before this monitor, we actually bought a cheaper monitor and when it arrived, we saw that the video quality was so bad and we couldn't really go that far with the receiver. So we ended up actually having to buy another one. So sometimes it is worth spending a little extra money on the pieces of equipment that really matter and allow you to live a little bit more of a relaxed lifestyle when you are at the boat. The seventh item on our list is one of the most interesting hacks I think on here, and that's a shower caddy. And what we use this for is we keep a lot of Claire's extra diapers, wipes, toys, sunscreen, and sunglasses in this shower caddy. When we're going from the inside to the front deck or from the front deck to the top deck, or maybe even out onto the dock, I'll usually carry Claire and Jesse will carry the shower caddy and we have everything that we need with us and we're not making multiple trips throughout the boat. This shower caddy is about $10 and again, I think this is one of the most interesting little hacks that we've found to make carrying stuff around the boat a lot easier. The eighth and final must have on our list is a baby life jacket. Now Claire cannot walk yet, but she's pretty close. She's already crawling and whenever we're underway, she's already certainly wearing her life jacket. And once she can walk, you better believe she's gonna be in her life jacket all the time unless she's sleeping. Life jackets are generally pretty inexpensive. We found a Speedo Type 3 life jacket online for under $40 and it's probably some of the best money that we can spend and it gives us peace of mind knowing that we can safely play on the top deck around the boat or to avoid an accident where she can just easily walk off the boat and if she wasn't wearing her life jacket it could really be quite devastating spend the money it's worth every penny so these are the eight items that we found having on board make our time up here a little less hectic and a lot more enjoyable and also very safe as well if you found value out of this video, tap that subscribe button, tap the like button. It lets us know that you enjoy this content and we can keep creating it for you. If you have questions about any of the products that we've discussed in today's episode, down in the description below, we've provided links to the, to the actual items that we've purchased as well, where you can check them out in more detail. And as always, if you wanna follow along, you can find us on Instagram. Our handle there is Deep Houseboat Life, where we post there often when we're at the lake down in Atlanta, just to let you know how things are going. So check it out. Hope everyone enjoyed today's video. We'll look forward to seeing y'all next week.